Hello, I'm Dr. Christian Jessen and welcome to this DVD. During the course of this program, I'm going to be taking a close look at multiple sclerosis, or MS. MS is an autoimmune condition that affects the central nervous system. Around 100,000 people in the UK have MS. That's around 1 in 600 of us. In order to better understand exactly what's going on in MS, I'm going to talk to consultant neurologist Dr. David Rogg. So David, thanks for coming along today. You're a consultant neurologist. That's right. And you specialise in MS, right? Yes. So let's start right at the basics at the beginning. What is MS? Well, MS is a disorder that affects the brain and the spinal cord. Um, it's thought that uh, MS is a, an autoimmune condition. In other words, the body attacks itself. And in this case, the body seems to attack the lagging, uh, the insulation around nerves. And what exactly is going on? Well, the purpose of the nervous system is to carry messages in the form of small electrical impulses. And the way that the nervous system does that in an efficient and in a reliable way is to coat the nerve cells, lag the nerve cells with a substance called myelin. And if we imagine that this wire is a nerve, uh -huh. normally the nerves are fully insulated. So therefore, the message that's put in at one end of the nerve travels quickly and efficiently uh, to the other end of the nerve with no loss of the impulse. Right, that makes sense, yeah. In multiple sclerosis, the lagging is disrupted uh, to a variable degrees. And so we've indicated this on the wire by removing the, the insulation. And so the impulse that goes in at one end of the nerve will be carried very variably down to the other end of the nerve. And in fact, some of the message will be lost along the way. And why is this protective coating being damaged? Well, for reasons that we don't fully understand, the immune system, uh, the body's immune system, which normally protects us uh, against bacteria and viruses and so on, somehow recognises the uh, nerves as being foreign. And therefore, the immune system is, is targeted to attack uh, the body's own nerves and as a result of that um, the myelin uh, coating is disrupted. So if someone was developing MS what would be the common symptoms that they might experience? Well if MS affects the brainstem for example then it can cause double vision, uh, vertigo so an illusion of movement, um, slurred speech, uh, incoordination, unsteadiness. So if it affects the spinal cord further down then obviously problems with the, uh, with the legs, um, uh, weakness, stiffness, dragging a leg, for example. If it affects the spinal cord further up, it can also uh, affect the arms in a similar way. People find fatigue is a very common uh, problem. So becoming very easy physically or, or mentally tired. So all those symptoms that you've described are actually pretty non-specific and there are plenty of other conditions that I can think of that might cause them. So how do you know that this is MS? A diagnosis of MS uh, relies on us combining uh, what the person actually tells us what we find when we examine the person and supportive um, tests. But there isn't a single MS test. You need to look at an overall combination of, Absolutely. of data. So we've talked about the ways in which MS can affect the body and we've also talked about the various symptoms. Um, but there's not just one type of MS, is there? It comes in different forms. That's right. So the commonest form is relapsing, remitting uh, multiple sclerosis. And uh, over 80% of people would develop uh, would, would have that type of MS to begin with. So that would be where uh, people have relapses, so they have new neurological symptoms and signs, um, uh, and they recover from those to a variable degree, and then there's a period of remission uh, where they don't have any new symptoms and signs. After about 15 years, 50% of people with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis will then uh, go into what's called secondary progressive multiple sclerosis and this tends to be um, the part of the illness where there, there's much less inflammation and therefore there are fewer if any relapses and from the person's point of view they notice a, a general and gradual decline uh, for example in their walking ability over a period of time. The third form of MS is primary progressive MS so this is from the outset uh, people have a similar uh, progressive decline uh, as they do in secondary progressive MS but they don't have the relapses. 
Finally, uh, a very rare form of MS is progressive relapsing MS, where as the name suggests, there's progression from the beginning, but there are also some relapses um, along the way. David, thank you so much for talking to me today. That was really informative. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now that we've looked into what happens in MS, we're in a better position to understand its treatments. We've now come to the end of the programme and I hope that you've learnt a lot about the causes, symptoms and treatments of MS. Do remember that in addition to support from your doctor or MS specialist nurse, you can also contact a number of MS patient organisations. I hope you found this DVD helpful and informative and thank you for watching. <laughs>